Hi, welcome to another ArcGIS tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to cut out a part of a DEM that you have a specific interest on using the method of extraction by mask. And after that, I'm going to show you how to convert the DEM into contours. So let's get started. As you can see, I have already loaded up my DEM and in the mid part of the DEM, if I zoom in a little bit, you can see that we have some high elevation areas over here, uh, something that possibly might look like a mountain. So for this tutorial, I'm going to isolate this part of the DEM and I'm going to do that by creating a mask. So in order to do that, first I will create a new shape file, uh, a new polygon, and I will specify the spatial extent which I'm going to use to do the extraction by mask. So first, let's go to our folder and create a new shape file. And, and this shape file, I'm going to name it as mask. And it's going to be a polygon. And the coordinate system, I'm going to specify this as WGS 1984, which happens to be the same coordinate system of my data frame. And the DEM layer. Go to editor and start editing and create features. I'm going to get rid of the catalog panel for the time being and under the construction tools you can see I have the option to specify a polygon, a rectangle, a circle or an ellipse. So in this case I'm going to specify a rectangle okay just like that and you can go ahead and stop your editing and save your edits I'm going to uh, get rid of the, the fill color and only specify the outline color. Okay, now you can see this, is, this will be the area of the extent uh, which I'm going to cut in my DEM. As you can see, after I cut my DEM, I will be only having the area which belongs to this, uh, this particular rectangle from my DEM. So the next part is to go to the search panel and search extract by mask. Go to the first option and here specify your input raster, which is the DEM. And in the second option, input raster or feature mask data, you drag and drop your mask shapefile. All right, now you can see it, it generated a new DEM and that DEM is only for the part where we have specified the boundary for. I'm going to change the color, maybe different color scheme, something like this. Yeah, and I'm going to get rid of the original DEM as well. So the second part of the tutorial is how to how to generate contours using this DEM. So you can you can simply search raster to contours. And here in the second option you can see contour spatial analyst. Click on that. And as the input raster you drag and drop your masked DEM. And then you can also specify the contour interval. Now you can see from the information of the DEM, the highest point is 639 meters and the lowest point is one meter. So I'm going to uh, be conservative and specify a contour interval of uh, 50 meters. Click 
click OK. All right, now if you get rid of the mask and also the, uh, the DEM, you can now clearly see that you generated uh, contours with intervals of 50 meters. Now, if you want to display the, the contour values, you can also go to properties of this particular contour layer and go to labels. Okay, actually before doing that, let's investigate the attributes table a little bit. And as you can see over here, since we specified the contour interval to be 50, 50 meters, you can see over here, it generated different polylines, which, uh, which are multipliers of 50 actually. So if you need to plot these values in the figure, it's quite easy. You go to properties and select label features in this layer. And under the label field, you select contour. Click OK. OK, now if you zoom in a little bit, you are able to see the contour values as well, uh, which has which has a contour interval of 50. If you zoom in a little bit, it will be much more visible. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any further questions, you can comment them down below. And I invite you to subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching.